Stardash is a 2D side-scrolling platformer by Orange Pixel that harkens back to the days of old when the Game Boy ruled the world and chiptunes played on every radio station. Without so much as a name for our intrepid protagonist, Stardash ditches traditional storytelling and boils down the game's plot to going from point A to point B while collecting as many stars as possible. There's no world building, character development, or conflict apart from the ravages of gravity and overly aggressive flora and fauna, leaving players to focus on nothing but the challenge ahead. While I'm usually a sucker for a good plot full of tropes and contrivances, the level of concentration Stardash required leads me to believe that following a storyline would have been wasting precious mental resources. Though the controls are strictly limited to only running and jumping, Stardash's gameplay is still somehow incredibly demanding and merciless. Every platform of each level seems to have been placed with exacting precision bordering on an obsessive compulsion, requiring players to execute precisely timed jumps and near-impossible sprints to avoid the numerous chasms, hazards, and enemies strewn throughout. With a thankfully rapid respawn rate, each level quickly becomes a marathon of try, die, then try and die again. While the level design alone proved to be difficult enough, Orange Pixel upped the ante by tossing in extra challenges, including collecting every coin, finding secret keys, beating the level within a narrowly timed window, and completing the level in reverse. These additional objectives, combined with the 50 available levels split across 5 different worlds, provides near-infinite replayability and plenty of opportunities to furiously shake your Nintendo Switch as you contemplate chucking it across the room. Similar to its gameplay, Stardash's graphics are pared down to the monochrome 8-bit visuals many of us grew up with on the Game Boy. Enemy design closely mimics the likes of Super Mario Land, and the set dressing rings similar bells. The upbeat chiptunes and sound effects also mesh perfectly, creating a true throwback to the early 90s. Stardash scratches a nostalgic itch while simultaneously providing heinously challenging gameplay. Each level looks to have been carefully designed, and the secondary challenges promise hours of additional playtime. Sure, you're going to spend a lot of time dying, but in all honesty this is time well spent. With clean matching visual and audible aesthetics to boot, and nearly zero complaints, I'm giving Stardash a 4.5 out of 5. For the full review and so much more, check out Gizarama.com.